Hey crafty friends, this is Anat Kessler with Saturday Mix Travaganza. Thank you very much for joining me today. And today I'm creating a mixed media art journal page. So like every time, let's start with covering our pages with some gesso. So it will seal our page and we can put all kinds of stuff on it. So just spread it with a brush and dry it with your heat tool and once that's done then we can go ahead and start creating um, I'm using this Prima um, stencil that has butterflies on it and I wanna spread it on both pages so I'm just gonna position it like in the angle that's wet over here I just wanna dry that Okay, so I'm just gonna put it in a position when I where I like the angle of the butterflies, and I'm gonna use some modeling paste. Just create raised textured butterflies with it, and I'm not gonna use all of them. Just gonna use some of them. Oops. And I think I need to get new modeling paste because this is almost finished. And I'm even going to create one butterfly where the two pages are binded together. And we'll have to deal with the fold later because we need to close our art journal, right? And if the butterfly is going to be there, it might disturb the closure. So I'll show you how to deal with that in. A sec. So you just f stencil away with the modeling paste on the butterflies that you want. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to create an art journal page that is going to be partially white, meaning I'm not going to cover, I'm not going to create a background on the entire two pages spread. I'm just going to leave some of it untouched. So we're going to have uh, an area where we're going to use a lot of color and then an area that it's going to stay white, like blank. Okay, so here's my butterfly pattern. And make sure to dry it really well with your heat tool. And once it's dry, or semi-dry, let me say semi-dry, you just create that gap so it will be easy to fold. So now I'm using some color sprays with a water brush and I'm spreading the color with my water brush. This is basically a brush that uh, has a water container attached to it and water keep coming out when you press it and the brush at the end stays wet all the time so it's really good for watercolors and spreading water-based paint like I'm doing now it's not a paint it's a color spray but it's basically it has paint on in it so I'm just spreading and creating a watercolor effect with my um, water brush so you can see the color palette that I'm using today with the orange and the red and the dark pink and the yellow and I'm basically blending all the colors together creating layers of color each time spraying a very specific area with just a little bit of color and then spreading it with the water from my water brush going to be a very uh, light effect of color but as we're going to build it more and more you see how the colors are really vibrant and strong especially this one this I really like this color it's very dark and vibrant so if you have too much color you just take a little bit of a uh, paper towel and just remove the excess so I keep on blending the colors 
um, going around the raised areas of the butterflies as well as on top of it and it will we're gonna create a little bit of shadowing later as we go along and because we gessoed the paper first um, we can just go ahead and add as much of spray and water that we need and it's not the paper doesn't absorb it, it doesn't curl and basically the paper is sealed so you can just go ahead and add more and more color. Now I'm drying this and I want to go in with some aquarel um, pencils which basically these pencils are water soluble that means that unlike regular color pencil when you go over it with water they spread they create a watercolor effect and I'm using those pencils to create borders around my butterflies which is going to be a little bit darker than the color that is on the paper now and this way <coughs> excuse me this way um, we're gonna make them pop out more and we're gonna emphasize the lines around each butterfly so aquarelle uh, pencils aqua means water as you probably know so basically um, these pencil pencils are like watercolor in a pencil so I really like that and we I use my water brush to just dissolve the paint and I'm using red here and purple and dark orange I'm just going around all the butterflies that really makes them pop out more as at, and as you can see there are corners in my art journal page they are completely untouched and I just left them like blank white they're just gessoed and that's it so I'm just gonna keep on building this color and add more and more wherever I want and you can al always you can also use those pencils for background uh, because like I said they work like watercolor so basically you can color an area and then go over with your uh, water brush or basically if you don't have a water brush you can just use a regular uh, brush and you have to keep it wet and you will have your own water brush so as you can see here I'm adding just splashes of color with um, the pencil and I have, I have to dry this every now and then see adding more color here this is more of a of a surgical if you if you will a surgical add uh, addition of water because I don't want to spray now I just want to add little tiny bits of color um, so I'm just using the pencils and all the color that is already on the brush itself you see just a little tiny bit of, of color very very light effect of color I really like those pencils and I even use my fingers just to spread it a little bit more more and more color adding but very very light color
so once you are happy with your background um, you can go ahead and dry everything and then continue I have here some um, Inca gold pastes I have a red one and I'm gonna use a gold one as well and it's just like rough and buff you just use your fingers and I'm just adding it to certain areas here on the background just as an emphasis color especially on the raised areas of the butterflies makes them even pop makes them pop even more with the gold it gives them a little bit of a shiny look so just keep on adding that paste the gold paste until you're happy and I'm gonna go in just a little tiny bit with the big brush artist pen for more definition my butterflies just here and there where is needed and I have here I don't know if you know this this is uh, you probably do this is um, um, smooch it's basically a um, type of ink that is fast drying and it has an applicator which is a little brush and I just want to add some little tiny dots I have a glittered one here so I need to mix everything really well and so I'm shaking it and just adding tiny dots here and there and I'm gonna use this the purple glitter and some gold and pink colors to add my dots just little tiny dots the applicator has a really pointy tip so it's easy to create very small dots and just adding them here and there I love dots you can do that with, with a pen if you want with a pencil colored pencil um, and I'm going to use the same sprays that I sprayed before in the background just to splatter a little bit and add more dots which will be more random and the final touch is adding my sentence which I really love this sentence uh, the sentiment goes just when the caterpillar thought her life was over she began to fly isn't that a great sentence I love it so that's why all the butterflies are there right so I'm just adding writing it down on the art journal with um, a black pen and basically I think the fly is gonna be really big because that's the point of the sentence right that's the point of the page gonna make the letters a bit thicker bit bigger and I'm also th I also think I'm going to add some drawing everything I'm also going to add some more color around them so two same colors as I used with the sprays just to add a little tiny more love these big brush pens just got them 
they're kind of new they're really fun I recommend them so basically it's done our art journal page is done as as you can see there are areas that are left blank and white and I really like the flow of this page and the colors and um, it's a really nice technique to to try not to fill the entire page with something this is a little bit up close just try it leave some of the page uh, blank it was a bit of a challenge for me and I had a lot of fun thank you very much for joining me I hope you were inspired and I'll see you all next time bye